hi friends welcome to azure data factory video tutorials uh, this video i am going to explain about uh, control flow activities what is the list of uh, available control flow activities uh, those are frequently we are using for your data validations or whatever you are doing in data validations or data transformation so we can use this list of activities to improve our data quality or to improve our uh, jobs execution in your azure data factory version 2 the major uh, one is variables. So, if you want to pass some value at runtime, or if you want to pass some values uh, dynamically, or you can go for uh, static values. So, that time we can use these variables. There are two types of variables is available. One is a append variable and set variable. So, there is a difference in between append variable and set variable. These activities, append variable, like if you want to add any value on existing variable for array type for existing array defined type so we can use this append variable and there is another variable called uh, activity is called set variable this set variable you can use this to set some value for any of the type like string a bool or array defined in data factory pipeline so this is the two activities uh, is required uh, if you are executing multiple activities in your data factory and if you want to pass some values and uh, you can use this variables another one is execute pipeline so this is required if you want to call any existing pipeline into another pipeline that is if you want to invoke one pipeline into another pipeline we can use this execute pipeline activity and if condition like uh, there is a requirement if you want to validate uh, some uh, source data like if you want to validate some source uh, files or arrival or something uh, if you want to validate some conditions through variables or if you want to validate based on timing like if this timing is there so uh, maybe depending on the clusters uh, source data so we can write some conditions like we can write some conditions using uh, expressions in your if condition this is a control uh, there based on that condition if it is true you can execute one activity if it is fault you can execute some activities or you can call uh, pipelines as well so like this we can go for uh, if condition and there is another activity called get metadata so get metadata mainly to retrieve the metadata from your objects whatever you are using in your data factory uh, sometimes we will use this if source file is arrived uh, how we will know because if the metadata is available uh, that validation it will get uh, true then you can proceed for next job like uh, loading the data in your copy activity so that time you can go for using get metadata so it will verify that metadata or whatever you are using a source file if it is file is available that metadata will be displayed this is called get metadata activity this is another uh, for each activity which uh, is, is a control flow type uh, where uh, repeated activities if you are doing some based on your conditions you can use this for each based on this condition i want to execute this based on this condition for each you can go for this control for uh, this activity and another one is called lookup lookup for your any source data sets if you want to uh, verify that data and uh, you want you want to join that you can use this lookup activity and there is another one for your uh, source data if you want to filter your source data uh, in your data pipeline if you are using so you can use this uh, filter expression you can write uh, conditions based on your condition business validations you can implement for example i want to fetch the data only uh, based on particular date last modified data from uh, like greater than last modified yesterday data like that you can use any filter conditions in an expression uh, filter expression and there are two major thing uh, wait and until so i think wait uh, if you already worked in etl tool you will be knowing this uh, like if you look at uh, oracle data integrator uh, for example if you have a requirement wherever the source system they are copying files if the file is available i want to validate the uh, if any files are available in particular arrival location i want to execute the job for example daily your source system is copying uh, files at 8 am and uh, based on that files you are scheduling your jobs but one day they miss the files they are not copied but you don't want to execute those uh, whatever uh, pipelines i want to validate that i want to validate if files are available 
then only I should run otherwise it will wait. So that concept here but this wait is only for waiting you don't have a other uh, condition or expression to validate a particular source file, uh, files arrival or something. This wait is only for to wait in your pipeline some other activities if you have and this if you use this it will wait for seconds or whatever you are specifying timing it will wait and after finishing the time it will start next steps whatever you define in your pipeline for the next level so advanced wait is for waiting your all the activities whatever your specific time once it's finished it will start your uh, triggering those jobs but if you want to go for any condition based uh, that is called until so in until this activity you can uh, uh, define some conditions uh, in a, in a expression so based on that condition if it is true it will execute the next activities if it is false it will exit so this activity there you can uh, call multiple pipelines or any other activities inside that and those pipelines will be repeatedly it will be executed until that condition is satisfied if the condition is satisfied it will run only once still it is not satisfying it will run multiple times for example uh, if you have a requirement uh, there are multiple files in your source folder if you want to process one by one what you can do you can define one condition if there is no files on that it uh, i need to return some true value if there are files is available i can return a false so false means this until activity repeatedly it will be executing then your uh, whatever that activity is defined inside this until those will be executed once it's become true then it will be exited that's called until activity and there are other two activities like calling your rest api uh, urls that is a web and web hook so this activities you can use in a data uh, pipeline uh, wherever you, if you have a requirement uh, i want to call a run book uh, for example i want to refresh my as cube and i have written some script in my run book so that run book uh, url you can use you can trigger using this web hook okay like same thing for web also if you want to call uh, if you want to trigger some many uh, urls that is the rest apis you can use this web activity and and another one is azure functions so this azure functions uh, they are supporting few languages if you want to go for uh, instead of run book you can if you want to refresh some cubes using python code or using uh, any other languages you can write your languages and you can call those script in this azure function so azure functions is the best feature you can say if you know any programming language you can customize any requirement and you can trigger this azure functions so this are the list of activities we can use in control flow that's called azure data factory version 2 those are the uh, activities you can use in your control flow or like append variable set variable uh, execute pipeline if condition and uh, get metadata and there is another one i missed this in this list i have not added this is called validation so if you want to validate uh, your pipeline before executing any missing dependencies like a uh, uh, any errors are there so it will do the validation if it is all our success it will start executing this is called validation this is available and uh, majorly uh, if you are working any data processing like any ETL uh, process variables is major and the uh, others are parameters is available but uh, this variables when you are uh, passing any values and if you are running any pipelines country specific or any location specific if you want to pass some values or if you want to pass some uh, urls or whatever you have a source file uh, folder location or file location if you want to pass that dynamically you can create a variable and uh, you can uh, append the value whenever you are executing that whenever you are calling that variable so we can use all this activities in your azure pipeline so thank you for watching my videos Please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel. Thank you very much.